Hey guys, what's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Cancer, immediate future. Wow, somebody is thinking about something long term. The idea is there. It hasn't happened yet. They haven't moved on it. But they're contemplating it. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, it could be money or it could be a person. There's a lot of success and a lot of happiness around it. A lot of abundance. Once again, still kind of just in the... Um, or you could be working on something that's going to bring you a large windfall or something like that and kind of just in chill mode, focusing on that. But it definitely felt like a person. All right. Possibly someone you walked away from or vice versa. All right, cancer, immediate future. Nope, sorry, they're not ready. Immediate future for cancer. All right. Cool. Let's get it. Yeah. Somebody is definitely holding back, right? No freaking movement at all. There could be a distance, but there is a heartbreak, some type of separation. No movement. Thinking all the time. Worried as shit, it looks like. Could be a Leo. Like always having having some having this on the brain, whatever this is to you or this person. Media future for cancer. Media future for cancer, please. Too many. I don't know which way they came out. It's kind of important. Virgo energy. One more card for Cancer, please. Thank you. The King of Wands. So it could be Aries Leo Sash. It has been a um a period of waiting. It looks like waiting and no movement, especially with the hermit there. Somebody's trying to find their way. Or has been. Possibly they are finding it. Because we have the King of Wands here for the outcome. And he, he normally gets up and gets shit done. So we'll see which way it's going. Show me the Seven of Pentacles for Cancer, please. More waiting. Focusing on yourself. Knowing your worth. Working on your stability. Your home. Your happiness. The Nine of Pentacles is about being independent. Especially financially. It can be about being single as well. So there could be, you know, just a waiting for these these ships to come in. Maybe, you know, um, you've been waiting for a person. But definitely invest in time and energy into yourself or into your, you know, your money, your pinnacles, just yourself in general or this person could be. Um, but there's been some type of a waiting game. But somebody has definitely um, invested a lot into their self. What are, you, what are they waiting on? What's the three of wands? What's that a distance? Could be an Aquarius. Some type of wish fulfillment. Some type of opportunity that you're waiting on. Um, it's, it's taking a while. It looks like it could be at a distance, but you're waiting for that to come towards you or this person. And see, the Knight of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is the slowest moving night of the deck, but when it gets there, you know, you bring something solid. So you're definitely on your way to something solid. 
that's considered a wish fulfillment. The problem is by the time this night gets here sometimes, you don't even want the damn wish no more. Not saying that you don't because you're waiting on it, but um, it's definitely like a slow moving process. Show me this hermit, please, for cancer. Again, this is Virgo energy. This is somebody kind of taking a step back, going within, trying to figure shit out. Show me this hermit for cancer, please, for the immediate future. Kind of just wanting to be alone. See what I mean? It's at a crossroads. Somebody just does not know what to do. They're trying to find their way. Um, but there's either a heartbreak or a distance, some type of separation that's holding this back. Um, there may be a decision that needs to be made that somebody is not making. But also it, it reminds like take take the blinders off. It's almost like not trusting your intuition. Uh, on someone's side, possibly because of pain or separation or fear of that. Nonetheless, things haven't been moving. Somebody is trying to find their way, but it looks like they're having a little bit of a difficult time doing that. Yeah, definitely wanting an opportunity here. Show me one more card for this obstacle. The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But even if you're not dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this is not an intuitive king. So somebody's intuition is almost like it's cut off. Um, and he's not, you know, like cancer, that's, it's, a, it's an emotion sign, it's a water sign. So somebody is definitely not at all in touch with their emotions right now. Possibly, like I said, for fear of getting hurt or just disinterest in like, I can't say disinterest because somebody is trying to find their way. I don't think it's working out well, or it has been, just because the like, like the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups, which is is your natural state, very intuitive, very in touch with like emotions and the intuitive side, like the uh, spiritual side. This King's not like that, so this is kind of like somebody really, especially that you kind of out of their element here in a logical mindset very closed off somebody who can kind of just turn off their emotions like that could be like a little bullyish but just doesn't somebody doesn't know how to express those emotions it feels like could be dealing with the Taurus but this person looked at you as someone very stable very long term but it's like not knowing how to express that show me this king of wands for cancer for the outcome what's he gonna do this is Aries Leo Sag, but like I said, he normally gets up and gets shit done. The Emperor and the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands, the Emperor gets shit done too. Very determined energy. Like um, with the Page of Wands, it's somebody who wants to know now, like a curious type thing. Whereas somebody's kind of been sitting on the sidelines. So there is this wish that you've been waiting for is here to be granted for the outcome because it looks like somebody is finally getting up and taking some initiative the queen of wands so you're going back you're matching these vibrations you're feeling good together um this person's definitely attracted to you the eight of wands so communication and this communication kind of comes in fast so things haven't been moving and it's like i always say with the emperor um you know somebody kind of puts on their big boy pants Especially with that King of Wands here. And um, get shit done. There's some type of communication. It comes in pretty fast here. But you're getting this wish fulfillment that you've waited for so long for. Like it's definitely been a waiting game. So light at the end of the tunnel I guess. Knight of Wands. It's going to move fast. It looks very sexual. Um, this could, the Knight of Wands can be a player. So it could be somebody who's kind of in and out. Could be a Libra, somebody that you are married to. But things are moving forward. They're trying to balance out. There's communication. There's like honest, well, clear communication, it looks like. 
Um, but it makes it makes it's your wish, your wishes here. You're definitely matching each other's vibrations. Things are seeming balanced, and it looks like it takes off pretty damn fast. We started with the Knight of Pentacles, close moving night um, for this wish fulfillment, and then we end with the Knight of Wands and wish fulfillment. So definitely a huge change of pace. All right, Cancer, I hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. There's an opportunity. All right, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.